Or go to Scientology.tv. Call at Tammy Mac now okay. on the KJLH app's open mic feature. Or call her at 520-KJLH. Radio Free, 102.3 KJLH. It's the Tammy Mac Show. Let's go, Macy Gray! Woo! Before, before I do that, let me do this. You mother face. a scene with Denzel Washington. You, I just love it. I love it. Thank Ma- you. Macy Gray, uh, October the 20th, Crenshaw Boulevard. She's taking the stage at Taste the Soul, baby. Oh, my goodness. It's got, We're playing Sugar Daddy. Yeah, as you should. So, <laughs> <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Uh, so, Macy, have you had a Sugar Daddy? Oh, man. You know, I, you know, there's a lot of levels of sugar. There's loving sugar. Sugar love. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like See, I didn't know sugar. that. I, I just thought it was one sugar daddy. You're like, now, now you now you schooling me. <laughs> <laughs> love sugar and and I and now I, <laughs> sexual sugar. There's like, sex weird. sugar is money. It's sugar. like splenda and then you got your yeah, okay. splenda daddy. Mm-hmm. So I'm, 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 I seem to be prone to the splenda daddy, but I like them. You you like which one? The sexual sugar, the love sugar, or I the love, sugar daddy that give you all I the love, money? I love all daddies. I, love, I like them all. <laughs> most of most of them. I shouldn't say all. Mm-hmm. That's not safe. But I like a, a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't answered the question. Have you had a money sugar daddy? Okay. Like have you had somebody to just, oh, or have you the question? Have you have you even needed that in your life? The spot. Have you needed that in your oh, life? Oh, hell yeah, trust me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, there's never enough loot for anyone. Do you ever have enough money? Because I don't. If you do, please, please write a book so I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to uh, know. I'm trying to think if I've ever had a sugar daddy, to be honest. I don't think I've ever had a sugar daddy. I know. I always see those would, girls on, on TV and stuff, and I always got, you know. I would like that five, experience, though. I, I can't know, lie. Right? I would like somebody to, like, pay my light bill. Or pay my car note. Like that's a interesting concept. That would be so dope. But I but I know I know there's a lot that comes along with that. Like, you know, nothing is free in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's you can absolutely be, have true. Have a sugar daddy, but then you know you're borderline hoeing. <laughs> so it just depends. I don't on even know if it's borderline. What, I think what, it's straight up hoeing. What you want for yourself? <laughs> or you can just have a man that just does really well. You know. And Tell us about your sugar daddy contest guy. you had. You had the sugar daddy contest on your Instagram. Um. So. So yeah. So we did this little thing where um. Well, we had uh. My followers, they would they would um, take the song and they would do a, like a rap or a sing or a dance over over the intro. So like the sugar daddy challenge. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, I loved it. And, and you we was, was the, giving, I was a sugar. Mama. I was like you was a sugar mama giving out hundred dollar bills. I was giving out loot. Yeah. Were you cash apping people? I was cash apping. Thank God <laughs> it's 2018 because I don't know how else we would have done it. I was PayPaling. It was fun though. I didn't I didn't mind it. I thought I thought I, I mean I had fun. You've been in L.A. for a couple of weeks, you told me. So, uh, have you been auditioning out here? I had an audition yesterday. And if they're listening, I really want that part. Was it really, really good? Yeah, I don't know if I, I can say what it is yet, but um, but it's something I want to do. You know, when you want something. something I want. Is, was it a dramatic role or more of a comedic role? Or was it, um, is Macy Gray being Macy Gray? I'm singing. Mm. It's a musical. And I'm singing the whole song the whole part black really don't crack like what you use on your skin because it's like you have makeup on no it's like so i have on these big old glasses it's like so super super duper clear i know i was blessed out i've always had good skin even since i was little it's one of one of my blessings so you don't want to see my fingernails (laughs) (laughs) you don't you don't have have any right now (laughs) So we have Macy Gray live in the studio. She's yes. going to be live on Crenshaw Boulevard October 20th. She'll be singing a lot of her songs. I won't say all, but she'll be singing a lot of her yeah, songs. Yeah, we're going to have a ball. All the way live. Compliments to Toyota. Let's go places. Macy Gray got to be there with Ready for the World, Vivian Green. Um, who you feeling right now? Like, what's what artists are you really digging? What, 
Uh, okay, okay, that's such a difficult question. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm a big Kendrick Lamar fan. That not just off the top of my head. I mean, there's a lot of good music coming out, and and a lot, I hear a lot of songs. I don't know who's singing. <laughs> Cause but. right now I'm feeling um LMA's trip. That's my jam. Really? LMA trip. Have you heard that? I'll play that one for you. Yeah, play that. Um, but um. <laughs> Who do you like? Who do you like? I know LMA. I'm I'm really feeling LMA right now. And but have you heard my album? Because my album is gonna blow her as well. Well, of course it is, Macy Gray. I'm, <laughs> I, and we're supposed to be playing your album today, so really? I'm waiting for more of the songs. But they haven't put them in yet, so what? I'm supposed to be playing, and we're talking about your music, so oh, that yes. you know, so let's, we can we can talk. prep the people let's talk all day. for October twentieth. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Well, that's going to be fun. Everybody should come out. We're going to have a blast. So how do you, this is what, uh, the reason why I brought up LMA's trip is because um, a younger a younger artist uh, went and like did a remix, put it online, like using her song. And then he, you know, did a rap like you did the mm-hmm. Sugar Daddy Challenge. But right. he uh, is Jacquez, I think it is. Uh-huh. And the record label made him take it down because he was getting more hits than she was getting. No way. So so I'm wondering, how do you feel about people like remixing your music or putting, because social media is so new now and it's, yeah. a, you know, it's taken over and sometimes the stuff that's not the artist can blow up more than the artist stuff. How are you feeling about that? I think, it, you know, it's a wild, wild world. I, th- I think if that happens, then I think I think the, the record industry really has to make sure they don't miss the boat again. Because, you know, there was a lot of... I remember when Napster came out and the whole thing was to stop Napster and stop, you know, file sharing. And, it, you know, it's just you can't beat uh, technology. You can't beat the new day. You know what I mean? Right. And, and how things are changing and... I don't know, if a kid does a remix on your song and, and it brings attention to your song... I, I mean, I'm not LMA. I don't know how she felt about that. But <laughs> I just think you can't stop it. So so the best thing to do is to, you know, jump on it and take advantage of it. Roll more with than, the punches. More than trying to hold it back. Because you can't. It's impossible. And people have already tried to, to stop technology. You can't do it. Yeah, it is impossible. We want to talk about uh, not only uh, your new album, but we want to we want to talk about um, your kids, how you're doing there personally, Uh-oh. and all that good stuff. So um, we'll be back. We're gonna do a little biggie, and then we're gonna come back to Macy Gray, Radio Free, one hundred two point three KJLH.